All right, what's going on guys? Today we are back in the gym. I'm gonna be running you through an anaerobic lactic training session. This is primarily gonna be based upon getting closer to the fight, so sports specificity is gonna be key. So we're gonna be working in higher lactate threshold zones. We're working very anaerobically. We're working to enhance the recoverability of your muscles, but also work on overall volume with your strikes. So I got Dez over there, he's gonna hold the pads. The goal here again, is to put out as much volume as possible between a certain time frame and a limited time to rest. Now, in between the rest periods, however, I'm gonna be doing some type of core activation or rotational strength component in an isometric fashion. What that's going to enhance, especially when you're talking about side bending and just overall stability, is the ability to produce force in a rotational fashion. So, what I'm gonna be doing is taking 30 seconds on, hard punches, with a lot of volume, and then I'm gonna take 45 seconds off. Every 15 seconds, I'm gonna hold an isometric pose or pause in a position that's going to enhance the strength of my trunk, right? So I'm gonna isometrically contract the muscles of the trunk to help with that rotational force. Then after that, you're gonna get back on the pads, 30 seconds there, back and forth for 12 rounds total. You take a two minute recovery break working on breathing through the diaphragm and then back again for another 12 rounds, all right? Did my dynamic warm-up, did my activation. Now, let's get on to the workout. Again, it's all about intent, working your ass off in a technical fashion. If you're down to work hard, let me know. We're doing a transformation challenge. Make sure you get on it. If you think that you can hang, you think that you can handle it, make sure you sign up in the link in the description and show me your transformation. Win a chance to win over seven grand. Let's make it happen. Thank <laughs> you. 
on my two minute recovery. Got my feet up in a 90-90 position. Now what I'm gonna do is get what's called box breathing. So I'm gonna do five seconds inhale, five second hold, five second exhale. We're gonna do four rounds through of that. Then I'll repeat it again for another minute. And then I should be ready to go for another 12 sets. working through being tired. So you're able to sustain technical outputs even when you're fatigued and you're gonna be going through that inside a hard fight. So we have to train like we are in the fight. That's gonna make the fight a lot easier. So make sure that your technique is sound and you're producing force and speed with every single strike. Another thing that you wanna be mindful of is when you're doing your core active recovery, make sure that you're squeezing every single ab muscle, the obliques, the external obliques, the internal obliques, the transverse abdominals, the rectus abdominals, as you're rotating in that punching fashion, especially with the coiling technique, as you see me there with my hand up to my chin and getting that lateral flexion, that's gonna help enhance the lat contractibility, that's gonna enhance the rotational torque, and it's gonna give you that full range of motion on your punches because we're working through that protraction and internal rotation of the shoulder. Again, if you're looking for maximizing your overall output, make sure you're squeezing everything out of that position, especially with the isometric contractions, whether it be for the static holds on the, on the uh, planks or the coiling techniques along with all those mountain climbers that you've seen me do as well. The lateral flexion is gonna be important and also the anti-rotation, anti-flexion movements are also gonna be important to enhance force production through your punches. So make sure maintaining that overall output and intent and make sure you're squeezing the shit out of those abs. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna end the workout here with a just a walk just bringing down my heart rate, making sure that I'm keeping my breathing, you know, deep but also very silent. I wanna control my breathing. I don't wanna over breathe or, or try to breathe into my upper chest. We wanna make sure we're maintaining a diaphragmatic breathing pattern. The goal here again, like I said, is to enhance the overall output of your punches. If you're getting closer to the fight, this is definitely gonna be important because it is specificity. What I mean by specificity is it's specific to the sport itself, right? It's gonna have high correlation over to what you're gonna be dealing with, whether it be in the ring or the cage. Now, again, you see me get after it. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, ex-fighter. I don't do this anymore, but I still push myself. I make sure that I give 120 fucking percent on everything that I do, no matter what I'm doing, whether it be coaching, running a business, or my training. So make sure that you're doing the same. I wanna see you you guys get after this transformation challenge give you a chance to win some money and also get your goals accomplished so make sure you check it out link in the bio and let's get after it